if you see the lights, just, just please move over. Like, we want to get home at night just like you guys want to. For the second time in his career, an Ohio State Highway Patrol trooper walks away from an accident. The first, six years ago in a construction zone. The second, this weekend on Interstate 77 while helping with a crash. News 5's Tracy Carlos talked with a trooper and tells us what we can all learn from this in a story you will only see on News 5. This mangled mess of metal is all that's left of Ohio State Highway Patrol car number 516. Oh, this 100% could have been deadly. Trooper Michael Gardner was inside. In my rearview mirror, I see a vehicle coming towards me. He was assisting with an accident on Saturday at the 480-77 split. His patrol car blocking a lane. It's the point of no return, put it in gear, tried to accelerate as fast as I could. But there was no place to go. Only thing was the, the gore. The little grassy gore that was um, snow covered. That's the only place I can go. It probably would have been a lot worse if I didn't take the evasive action because both of our momentums were going forward versus me just being at a standstill. Troopers say this accident was a classic case of distracted driving. She said she saw the lights, looked down at her GPS, and when she looked back up, it was too late. That driver cited for distracted driving. She is one of 621 drivers cited so far this year for distracted driving. That's more than half the number for all of last year, and this is only the second month of 2022. This continues to be a story that you see in various parts of the state and through various outlets that you know don't just involve you know a, a trooper, but another agency or another you know roadside maintenance worker. Um, it all boils down to folks just not being distracted and paying attention while they're on the road. Remember. Ohio has a law requiring drivers to move over or slow down when any type of flashing lights are on the side of the road. We look at that car in disbelief and we're just grateful that he's still here. The father of one, soon to be two, told me he's blessed to have walked away from this accident with just aches and pains and lucky he went home to his family. Yeah, they're always on my mind and like when I went home that night I gave him an extra long hug because when you leave for work, you may never know what's going to happen. In Cleveland. I'm just thankful that I was able to give him another hug for one more day. Tracy Carlos, News 5. Wow, Trooper Gardner, we're thankful as well and so grateful that you're recovering and you're fine tonight. They do some dangerous work out there.